Um, a lot of times the contractor will say, yeah, you know what, if you can, you know, if you can meet, we, you're at 97, if you just meet me at 100 grand, you know, if you can find another 3,000 bucks, I don't know. And I'm going to try to find it, right? I'm going to try to, to get it, to get it kind of in the ballpark and get it, get them to where they're right on top of each. Because I don't, you know, as long as it's, it makes sense and it's, it's, it's fair and it's reasonable and it's customary for the repair, you know, it may be that they do need a bunch of extra debris removal. Maybe that they do need, you know, whatever it is, right? Um, that I can pay for, that I'm going to pay for it. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. I'm not going to be mad at the guy and like think that this, a negotiation means a fist fight, right? It just means let's just figure out where we're low and you're high, right? And then try, try to meet in the middle of this or try to meet where we're supposed to meet, where it's supposed to be, right? Um, and just like you, Andy, I kind of like doing that um, because a, a lot of times, um, and I don't, I, I don't, I don't say this to say that I like to show how good of an adjuster I am or how I was better than the previous adjuster. But a lot of times, for even for reasons that may have been out of the original adjuster's control, somehow this claim fell through the cracks or it, it got mishandled in some way. Something went sideways with it, and there was a misunderstanding or whatever, right? It's an opportunity to kind of like grab that insured and sort of like kind of ease them back in and get everybody kind of lined up, right? And get them to be like, all right, well, you know, based on what happened before, you know, the original adjuster that maybe they, and this, like, like I talk about this all the time on this channel, like you're talking to the homeowner, maybe, you know, they seem really sad or upset or they're like gruff with you. They may have just found out that their, their wife has terminal cancer, right? The adjuster, Right on on one of these claims this is why you never ever 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 trash talk another adjuster or the insurance company or anybody. That uh, original adjuster may have been halfway through his scope at that house and got a call from an emergency room at home saying, "Hey, your wife and kids were in a car accident and they're all in ICU." I'm drop I'm dropping everything and I'm jumping in the car and driving away. Right? You have no idea. So do not be like, well, the original adjuster was terrible. I can't, can't believe this. I mean, who would even, I mean, I totally blame, I can't blame you guys for, you know, like thinking that the original adjuster it sucks and blah, blah, because let me fix this for you because that other guy, I don't know. Do, don't do that because you, you don't know what you're talking about, honestly. Even if you're like the best adjuster in the world and the original person was the worst adjuster in the world, it doesn't help the situation to trash talk that person or anybody else in the process at all, ever. So long story short on this, I look at these as opportunities to to get everybody lined back up, right? Not to glorify myself and say I'm, I'm a, bad, a badass or whatever, but to, hey, let's fix this for whatever reason. It, it wasn't done quite right at first, um, but let's fix it, right? Or maybe they just found more stuff, right? And you're like, oh, well, geez, look at that. I mean, this whole other room's got damaged. Add that to the estimate, boom, they match. You're off, you're going off to the next one, right? So, yeah, and a lot of times it just boils down to experience. Um, and I know you've seen some terrible original estimates, and I have too, but a lot of times you can find some money in the estimate um, for things that the, in, the uh, first person should have added, but it's probably just due to lack of experience. And so I would always print the contractor's yeah. estimate off. And I would walk around with them. It's like, okay, in this room, you want to do this, this, and this. Tell me why you need to do that. But like one of the places that I would always see lacking is uh, masking and uh, dust control. Like when you're sanding drywall, that dust gets everywhere. Even with some uh, dust, yes. con dust containment, it gets everywhere. And so the first adjuster, we're in a million-dollar house, and they wouldn't, there's a lot of drywall uh, sanding going on, but they wouldn't include any dust containment. Well, that's something I can add. I can tell the contractor, hey, yeah. we can uh, we can get you some money on uh, dust collection. Uh, you're splattering the ceiling with a texture gun. There's no masking for the floor. We can add some floor protection or floor masking. Uh, a lot of things that that you would know if you knew something about construction. But again, it comes down to experience level. And even though it's scary for a new person to work cleanup and do reconciliations, it's really the best way to learn because you can have the contractor in there. And if you don't know uh, what I just talked about, you could say, okay, Mr. Contractor, you want to do floor protection in here. Why is that? Well, we're going to take a splatter gun and 
texture of the ceiling and that stuff uses air compressor or air compression is blows the stuff everywhere. Okay, cool. You learned something. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.